I'm not big on paying down car loans because um, it just, I always feel like the money is better spent somewhere else. You know, it's not, I don't consider that an asset. It's kind of a necessary evil more than it's an asset. And um, I don't, I don't really like uh, paying that down unless you have absolutely nothing better to do, you know, with your money. I would rather see you either, I expect that the, the company that you drive for, do they have, um, they have a retirement plan of some sort? Yes, sir. Yeah, they, I work with FedEx. So oh, okay. I actually, yeah, so I actually have a really good 401k program. Yeah, they're they great. They match and everything, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so I, you know, I would be okay putting it down towards the, uh, make sure you keep emergency money. You know, you have emergency savings uh, set aside. So set aside some money for that. And then the rest, I would try to lower, not necessarily your interest rate, but your time, what kind of mortgage are you getting? A uh, 20 year, 30 year? 30 year. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would consider putting more money down on a 20 year unless you think you're going to be moving again in the next five or 10 years. Do you think you will? No, no. Yeah. I hope not. <laughs> this is it. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, tr check out like a 20 year mortgage. So if you got a 20-year mortgage and then put more money down on a 20-year mortgage, you're, you're, you're going to get a good interest rate and your payment's going to be about the same. You know, you're not going to really lower your payment any by putting more money down because you're taking 10 years off the time. But I would rather see you do that. And I would suspect you sound like a pretty disciplined person with your monies uh, you guys could have that paid off in 15 years, you know, easily without, with very little effort. You could probably have that paid off in 15 years.